everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome to a brand new video on my channel. I have done a lot of shopping. I honestly don't think I've ever done this much shopping in a really short amount of time, but I got really tired of my old clothes. I wanted to basically do an overhaul of my wardrobe, which is exactly what I've done. And you guys may have already seen my Black Friday haul. If you haven't, I will leave it up here, but this is kind of a continuation of it. I'm showing you guys a lot of the things that I bought online and some of the other things that were still on sale. Um, after Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Before we get into this haul, I wanted to let you know that I'm doing a giveaway over on my Instagram. I'm giving away the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes eyeshadow palette. I will leave a picture of the Instagram post that you need to find. It's not hard. It's like one of my latest pictures and it's just telling you exactly how to enter. So definitely go check it out and follow me over on Instagram. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and let's go ahead and get into this haul. I'm starting out with lulus.com. The first thing I got is this jumpsuit, which is going to be very confusing to see here, but I will be doing try on clips of everything. So this is a jumpsuit that has a tie in the middle of it with a little opening in your like kind of ab area. It is so cute. I really love the stripes. It kind of gives me like 70s vibes, which I've been really into lately. I don't remember what percentage off I got of this, but this one was originally $85 and I used the code best Friday at the time. I want to say it was like 30% off. Um, it only shows me what the original price was and then the discount was taken like after the total. But yeah, it was a really good deal, whatever it was, and it's really cute. I'm very excited to wear this in the spring and summer. That's another thing. A lot of the stuff in this haul is not really winter appropriate. I just found some really cute things that I'm definitely gonna have to wait until I have some warmer weather to wear them in, but that's totally okay. And the next thing I got from Lulu's is this navy polka dot dress. It's so adorable. This again has those like ruffle sleeves that you've probably seen in so many of my hauls. This one was originally $30. It is like a wrap style. It has this little extra piece that kind of obviously wraps around the front and then it has a tie and it's just really cute and really flattering especially where it wraps. It makes it look really good on I'm assuming pretty much any body type but I really love this and I thought it was a good deal. The next two things I got from Lulu's are just basic tank tops but they have this kind of sheer detail at the very top. It's really pretty. I just wanted some simple tank tops that I could wear um, like layering or just with cute like high-waisted jeans or shorts or something and these were originally $26 each. I did end up buying another dress from Lulu's. This one is like a skater style and it has a halter top with the back laces up and it's got a really low back too and I really like this material. It's so soft and comfortable and I feel like especially with the low back and it being like lace up it's gonna be so nice to wear on the really hot summer days. Also this one was originally $38 and the last thing I got I've actually worn already and I got so many compliments on. It's a faux suede moto jacket. This jacket is pretty fitted so I decided to size up to a medium which I'm really really happy that I did because it fits so perfectly. I love this color so much. It's really soft and I feel like I can definitely get away with wearing this pretty much any time of the year. I'm a huge fan of the Fabletics high-waisted leggings and I didn't have any that were patterned and I thought this one was so pretty. It's coming off way more purple on camera so I hope it will look better when I actually edit this but it's a bit more of a maroon shade and it has these really pretty flowers on it I just thought they were beautiful and I also just joined a dance program So I will definitely be wearing a lot of these things very soon. So I got a pair of their sailor cropped leggings or capris. I love these ones, especially for the workouts where you sweat a lot. They're like the perfect length. And I love the print too. I have so many things from Fabletics in this print. I got another pair of high-waisted leggings, except these ones are the 7 8 length, so it's a little bit cropped, but it's not like a capri style. I thought that these would also be really nice for like the spring when you don't want them to be like full length. I also have like four or five pairs of these now because they are my favorite leggings ever. In case you're wondering, I usually order everything in a size small because if it's very true to size and you don't usually need to size up or down from what you usually buy. And lastly, I bought a shirt with a built-in bra and I usually love their shirts with built-in bras. And this one actually gives you the option of removing it because it's just attached by like this little loop, which is really nice because the bra inside it is actually really 
good and thick and looks like very supportive. I love the tank top itself too because it's like mesh up top and then in the back it's also mesh but it has this little like drapey material in the back too so also can't wait to wear that probably in my dance classes. I did buy some things at Forever 21 but I don't think that they were on sale at all. This was like way after Black Friday but I figured I'd show you anyways because I did pick up these earrings and I feel like I will probably get questions about them. They're like tassel earrings and I really love them. I've been wanting some tassel earrings for a while and I think they were $8.90 I'm pretty sure. I also got this knitted beanie thing with a little pom-pom on the top. I also don't have a white beanie so I decided I would pick one up. Next up is Topshop. Again, I did buy a few things from Topshop during their Black Friday sale, but I ended up going to another Topshop after Black Friday and I was checking out their sale section for under $20 and I found two really cute things. The first thing I got was this dress and it is a really beautiful green color. It has little ruffle details and it's got a wrap style, but it's actually covered and like completely sewn. It's just got a little fake tie here and I just love the ruffles on it. I mean, obviously I'm really into ruffles lately. The only other thing that I got from Topshop this time was was a kind of oversized white sweatshirt and it is only oversized because it was in a large and that was the last size that they had but I tried it on and I liked it so much it says girlhood on the front and I only got this one for like $12 next up is Simon's I love Simon's so much and pretty much one of the only sections that I actually shop in at Simon's is the Twix section it's my favorite because it's the most affordable and they have really cute trendy clothes the first thing that I got is what I'm wearing right Right now this is a ruffle sweater it's just a kind of cream color sweater it fits exactly like a normal crew neck but it just has this really cute ruffle detail on the arms and on the front online I did buy a pair of these fleece lined leggings because they are very important in the winter because they are so cozy and warm but they still look really cute and I decided to get them in this kind of charcoal color. I believe most of these things were about 40% off. I think these leggings were $10 after the discount. Also this shirt was $30. I decided to pick up another one of these t-shirt dresses. They have a little pocket on them and they have so many different patterns to choose from. I actually bought one of these exact same dresses from Simon's like two years ago and I love it. it is so pretty and comfortable and keeping with the ruffle theme because I love me some ruffles I got this ruffle sleeve t-shirt I think this one yeah this one was $15 which is kind of a lot for a t-shirt but the ruffles like how can you say no to that? I had also been looking for a pair of pants like this for a really long time. These are high-waisted black kind of like track style pants and they have a white line detail down the side. These ended up being $20, which I was really surprised about because they had a sticker that was on sale for 40 and I went to the cashier and it ended up being only 20 and these were originally $50. I got another t-shirt from Simon's. This one actually wasn't on sale though. I'm not really sure why, but that is okay. I really like t-shirts, especially when I can tie them up and wear them with high-waisted jeans or something. And it also has a little lovely embroidered on the top left corner up here, and it has cuffed sleeves. And the last thing I got from Simon's is actually something really different from what I would usually buy. And this is like a corduroy button-up long sleeve shirt, but it has flowers embroidered all over it. This one was on sale for $20 and it was originally $50. I went to Urban Outfitters during their Black Friday sale. This was kind of well after Black Friday actually, but they still had some sales going on. When I went, it was $50 off $150 purchase or more. I actually went straight to the sales section to check it out and I found some really cute things on sale there. The first thing I got is another jumpsuit. This one is a tank top style and it has has buttons all the way down to like the mid area and it also has a tie in the back so that you can tighten it and kind of cinch in the waist a little bit more this one is very wide legged but it does end kind of like at a cropped length and I think it's gonna be so cute for the summer I feel like this is a very advanced summer haul I also got this off the shoulder dress and I had seen so many people wearing this one I know Michaela or I'm pretty sure Michaela got this one in the pinky color and it was really cute but this one ended up being on sale for $40 I was like, 
Yes. It fits so nicely and snug, like it's not gonna fall off or anything. I really like this color too. I'm just like kind of drawn to patterns and colors like this in the summer. So I'm really, again, excited to wear that. And the last thing I got from Urban Outfitters is a gingham dress. And I'm really hoping that gingham is still gonna be in next year in the spring and summer, but we'll see. I, I'm gonna wear it anyways, who am I kidding? This one also is mid-length. It did come in a bunch of different colors and patterns, but I just really, loved the gingham print. I don't even own anything gingham, but I feel like it's kind of classic in the summer. Next, I went to Uniqlo and I did only buy one thing, but I'm really happy with what I got. It's this long sleeve men's t-shirt actually, and it was originally $30. I got it for $10. And I think this will be really nice to wear when I just want to be comfy and just have an oversized shirt on. I went to American Eagle. They were also having their Black Friday sale still going on. So I decided to buy another pair of jeans. These are the super high rise jeggings. I got them in the really dark wash color because I don't have many jeans that are super dark like this. And I was just going through my jeans and I will be getting rid of a lot. So I decided to get these. They fit so nice they're very stretchy and comfortable and these were originally $60 and I got them for $35 that was the only thing I got from American Eagle but for some reason I also got one of these free throws I was assuming you'd have to spend like way more to get one of these but the person just threw it into the bag so I was like awesome I wanted to throw all of this stuff into this haul too because I went to an Adidas event last night and they gave us a $500 credit to get anything you want in the store. I decided to grab two pairs of the campus sneaker style shoe and I got black and this like taupey brown color. I also got a pair of the Tennis HU shoes. These are the, I guess, limited edition Pharrell Williams shoes. I love Pharrell, so I just, you know, obviously had to get them and they're so beautiful. For the clothes from Adidas, I got a cropped black hoodie that obviously has the Adidas logo on the front, as well as a pair of high-waisted light track pants. These are really stretchy and soft and this one also has the Adidas name and logo down the side of the leg. And lastly, I got a three pack of their socks. These are so nice. They have like the cushiony bottom, which I love. And then a pair of the like half socks that you can wear with like slip on shoes and stuff. So thank you very, very, very much to Adidas for letting us do that. It was a really cool event and extremely generous of them. So thank you. Okay, so the very last thing I wanna show you guys is what I picked up from Sephora. I had a $20 off your 50 $50 purchase card for a VIB thing at Sephora, but obviously I spent more than $50. <laughs> It's really hard not to. I was in Sephora looking for a few different hair care things that I can start using, especially in my videos, and the girl that was working there was extremely helpful and she showed me this new line of hair care products at Sephora. So this brand is called IGK and it is really, really cool. So these are all cruelty free, obviously, and I bought four things from that line. The first thing I got from this line is the Jet Lag Invisible Dry Shampoo. This is a really good size bottle too. So I I had been looking for a new dry shampoo to use in my hair that's cruelty free. Hopefully this works. The girl at Sephora also had a lot of really good things to say about this one. This is the prenup instant spray hair mask. She said her friend had just gone like platinum blonde and this completely saved her hair and just kind of like revitalized it, I guess. So I'm really looking forward to using this one. The girl also swore by their beach club texture spray. I decided to get the small one. I don't really know why. This one looked really fun. This is the pre-party hair strobing glitter spray. I feel like this is just gonna be really fun to use, especially during New Year's and then maybe like the dance things that I was talking about so very excited to use this I did test it in the store and it's really cool because it kind of sprays out like a dry oil so it doesn't dry out your hair and it has the prettiest little flecks of glitter in it and I'm just really excited to use this one the last thing I got from Sephora is the way to go kit from way hair care I haven't tried anything from way hair care and I've wanted to for a very long time so I decided to get this little travel kit this has the dry shampoo foam wave spray hair oil and a little travel pack of elastic hair ties. I can't wait to try out the dry shampoo foam because that's so interesting and different and I have heard really good things about it. So we will see how I like all of the things in this kit. Okay, so that is finally everything that I have to show you guys in this haul. I really hope I don't do any more shopping for a very long time because if I do, that's just 
ridiculous. Pretty sure I'm done now. I just really wanted to revamp my wardrobe and I'm very happy with everything that I've bought and obviously extremely thankful. So I hope you guys did enjoy this haul and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I will also have another video going up tomorrow. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and come back to my channel tomorrow for a brand new video. Let me know what your favorite thing that I bought in this haul was in the comment section below this video. And thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.